And to Egypt now, the country's interior ministry has slammed media reports that claim the slain Italian student, Giulio Regeni, died in police custody. The Reuters news agency is citing several intelligence and police uh, sources, but the ministry says that report is unfounded. Now, Regeni went missing in Cairo in January. His body was found days later in a ditch. The corpse showed signs of extensive torture. Earlier this month, President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi dismissed claims that uh, security forces were involved in his death. Instead, he blamed evil elements in Egyptian society. Italian police have been urging Cairo to share more information relating to that case. Well, let's get you more on that story now. I'm joined uh, live from Cairo by CCTV's Adele al Maruhi. Uh, Adele, of course, it sounds like a rather angry response from the Egyptian government there. What more can you tell us about uh, what they've been saying? Well, it's not just angry, Lindy. It's also um, sort of um, deliberately accusing Reuters of falsifying news. Um, the statement said, quote, lies. Um, on the information that has been reported uh, and it said that the, the uh, Ministry uh, of Interior has the right to take any legal uh, approach to defend um, and to sort of um, referring to might they might be chasing uh, Reuters legally um, against these information. So it seems to be a very, uh, not just defensive, but it's turning to be an offensive response from the Egyptian administration against Reuters um, report, particularly because, as you said, they have mentioned um, s at least six security officials, three of them from the Intelligence Bureau, which is usually not very likely to um, see that intelligence officers speaking um, to the media and the three others from the National Security Bureau. So it is quite um, um, a story there and citing six um, security officials from the Egyptian um, government and all of them reported independently seems to be quite a hit and quite an indication that Reuters is trying to make that it, ha it is more or less very sure that this is the case. But at the same time, we're still seeing for um, to see what will be uh, the further reaction or the next step for the Egyptian government. Of course, as you say, a very unhappy Egypt. But what of the Italian response? Uh, what have they said about uh, these reports coming from uh, Reuters? Well, uh, Italy has been quite cautious about that part. Um, they have been um, referring several times that they are tending to believe um, the scenario that uh, Reuters um, is uh, um, saying, but not, it hasn't been said uh, from the Italian government explicitly at least. Um, they are working on their own investigations. They're still trying to um, work with Egypt to get all the information um, they need on the investigations. But what we know that um, about two weeks or three weeks ago, um, they um, announced that they were not pleased with the Egyptian investigators and the documents, the files, and the report that they have filed to the Italian government. So Italy seems to be uh, trying to hold this investigation on its own now, but it still needs Egypt to get very vital information, including telephone logs and CCTV video material from the locations, the metro station particularly, where Regini is believed to be um, at just before he disappeared. So it's still not clear how will Italy manipulate um, this, how both countries will try to um, cooperate, but at the same time uh, independently. It's it's quite a, a puzzle here. Well, it seems a story that's still unfolding as that investigation continues. Thanks very much to Adele Al-Muruki uh, with, that, with that update live in Cairo.